Hello friends and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel IB All Designing Developer. Like previously, we have just learned about how to update uh, our React app to React 18. Now in this video, I will be telling you what is a component in React 18 and how to work with that. So I'll be telling you start to end what is the component. So remember to hit a like for this video and if you are new on this channel, hit the subscribe button because in this video, I will be telling you like when we just create our new React app with the folders and files. So what is a component in that and how to use component, how to put components in our files. I'll be telling you one to one thing. So remember to hit a like to this video if you enjoy this. And if you are new on this channel, hit the subscribe button. After subscribing, hit notification bell from which you'll be notified with all the future videos and share this video so more people can learn and they can take benefit of these amazing things. And I'll be uploading more videos like that. And previously on, you can also see my videos through React 18 because that will giving you help if you want to learn React 18 from start to end so remember to check all the previous videos because that will giving you help like in the previous videos i've telling you set up how to create a react tab how to understand files and folders then after that we have just update it to react 18 and today's video i will be telling you how to just uh, what is a component in react 18 so just now we'll be starting with our video and see and learn how what is a component in react 18 and how to use it in our projects so like in the previous video, I've telling you how to just work with uh, React and how to update our React 18 app. So in this video, I will be telling you what are component in React. And I'm also telling you in the starting like, I will be telling you all the information which we needed to learn about components. So in this video, I'll be telling you what are component in React 18. So now we'll be starting with our video. So for starting here, I will be opening my VS code, which is already open. So you can also open this. Now here, this was the app which we were running, you can see. This is the app one folder and then these are all the files which we are having and I was just showing you the file nothing I've changed from here. So I will be just now uh, I was just running this app. So here I will be doing it side by side to show you all the stuff and I will be now explaining you what are components here. So now you can see we are just getting all this stuff of react. 18 and here we are getting at the right side the browser thing which is totally empty because we have written nothing here. So now for writing here the thing you have to first of all move to this file here. Here you have to erase all the stuff, but don't erase from here. I think erase from this file means app.css file. So here I will be erasing all the stuff from this. Save this. Now you can see all the stuff has been removed, but nothing changes here because I've only erased the styling, not any of the uh, front end thing. I've erased the back end styling work here. So now here we have to work with React 18 and we have to learn about components here. So I will be telling you what are the components now. Like in HTML, we use h1 tag as a component. So in this React 18, we use h1 tag as a component as well. So for using it, just you have to move down under this div. Remember, when you are using any of the tag here, you have to move under this div. If you are no, not moving under this div, you are moving here under this bracket. So it will be really problem and your code will be not working. So remember to move under this class name div. So your code will be working. So if I write here h1 and in h1, I'll be writing react 18 tutorial like this. You can see if I save this. So we will be getting a heading which is saying that react 18 tutorial you can see which is looking good now here if you want to do this thing it's center so you can just write here h1 in h1 you have to write like this class name remember this n should be capital of class name in react 18 or in react when we are using because in react 18 just n should be capital it is not html like thing that n should be small it should be capital here then you have to just move here after this and after moving here you have to just now write a thing which should be like container now if i write this container save this directly from here you can see nothing happens nothing happens because here uh, we have just not put, uh, put the bootstrap code link here so we will be also using bootstrap moving forward in this react 18 because bootstrap has a, a framework thing and using bootstrap you can just use your container text align you can take your text into center so you can do like styling stuff using that bootstrap but in this video i only want to tell you like h1 is a component of this react 18 and this was the small component which i've telling you about so components are really type of here so in the next video i will be telling you about function component first of all in this video we have learned about normal components like i want to only show you the starting here means only the starting tag of this so i've shown you now in the start in coming of video i will be showing you all the stuff here using uh, react 18 and i'll be telling you what are the components in react 18 but this was small video in which i want to only tell you like 
this h1 is also a component like we are getting this h1 in html so in react also or in react 18 we are getting h1 as a component as well so this was the video about so i hope you understand this video in which i have telling you what are the simple component in react 18 and i hope you understand this video as well if you have understand enjoy this video and so hit a like and if you want to see more videos like that so hit the subscribe on this channel after subscribing hit notification bell from which you will be notified with all the future videos and also share this video so more people can learn about these amazing things and i hope you'll be enjoying all the future videos also which i'll be coming up with because that will also give you help moving forward so just i will be meeting you next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials so for today good bye